Hey guys, Black Spectre Comics, and I'm back with a mystery box unboxing. If you want to check it out, please stick around. Alright, so I'm back. So, um, it's been a while since I've done one of these uh, mystery box unboxings, and uh, I believe the last one was from Scout Comics, and that was like a couple months ago, if I'm not mistaken but uh if you haven't had a chance to check that out uh i'll drop that up above and um especially for you guys who love independence and scout comics i think you'll get a good kick out of that one but uh this one you know as you know with the pandemic we haven't been going out to the uh lcs's and picking up some of our weekly books so i've had a little bit of extra you know expenses so i figured why not? I like to support the community whenever they have some mystery boxes, and this was a kind of a low, a low box number. So I take a shot at it. Actually, the person reached out to me, so that I, it's good marketing on on his part, his part obviously, and it's good price, good advertising. So I figured I'd take a shot. Um, you can find him on IG. His name's Andrew. But you can find him at Comic Book Campaign, and he also has a website, uh, ComicBookCampaign.com. So basically, his boxes go for forty dollars plus shipping, which was I think eight bucks. And this lot was eighteen boxes, so I had the last lot with a chance of a top prize, which is I believe it was. The entire run of Secret Wars, which I did not win. He did a separate raffle video on that. But there were also smaller prizes shown on the webpage, which I don't remember now what they were. I think Wolverine number one was one of them. Um, and then like three or four others. And listed on there, there was a print. I believe a color in print. A certain amount of books, etc. So... Enough rambling, I'm sure I'm probably missing some of the information. But um, let's get into the unboxing. It's a nice package. All right, so we've got a nice heavy stack. So I guess I'm gonna start from the top. All right, here we go. Here's your trade paperback that I was talking about. This is Magic Order. If you haven't read this, this is actually a really good series. So, I'm excited to reread this. Alright, so the first book. Oh, here we go. I've seen this cover before. I don't have this in the PC. I do have the comic, but this is um, Detective Comics 1000. This is the, I don't even know who made, who did this cover, but it's a nice cover, really cool. All right, so, all right, next book, Walking Dead, issue number 108. Got a nice cover there of Ezekiel with the uh, lion in the background, oh, sorry, the tiger. Um... I'm not sure if this is a first appearance or not. I have no clue. I don't have any Walking Dead books in my uh, PC. But I do watch the show. And I am familiar with the character. But uh, just let me know in the comments below. If, if these are anything key or not. I have no clue. Maybe at the end I'll do a little quick little rewind. And, and see what the uh, eBay prices are for some of these books. Because I don't know offhand. This book I am familiar with. I want to say this is Outer Darkness. I could be wrong. This is a Virgin, the uh, Virgin variant. I'm gonna have to open this up real quick because I am not entirely sure. And these are all sealed, which is nice. I like these uh, sealed poly bags. And this is in. Beautiful condition. This is definitely a 9698. I want to say this is Art of Darkness because I think I have the same book. Just in a different uh, cover. Yep, it is actually. 
See, I know my indies. I know my indies. Outer Darkness. This is the, uh, yep, issue one. I didn't have this one. I had the uh, cover A. But also a good a good read. Actually, they just imaged it recently. Um, a little uh, crossover between Outer Darkness and Chew, which wasn't wasn't bad. wasn't bad. It wasn't really my uh, uh, cup of tea per se. I, I like the two individual titles uh, separately, but together, I guess I I wasn't a big fan. Maybe I just got to read the next issue. I don't know. Give you know you got to give it a chance. So uh, all right. So you got the Virgin variant. I don't think this. Book's worth much. It's probably worth cover. But uh, all right, next book. Oh, here's a cool book. This is the uh, one of the. I believe they said there was a signed copy in one of the in one of the uh, boxes. So this is Infinite Dark issue number one. And this is signed by Ryan Cady from uh, Midtown Comics. I believe I do have. This book as well on the PC, but I don't have this particular uh, Midtown version. So that's really cool. And the last book, this is, looks like Broke and Broken Down, Four Dead Bodies, number one. It's a Kickstarter exclusive. And it's signed by, I'm guessing it's either the writer or the artist, I'm not sure. And then in the back, it comes with the um, the limited print by the artist, and you can do the coloring, so you can color it as well. So that's pretty cool. So that's the mystery box. Um, I'm gonna have to look up this book in particular. I've not heard of this book before just to see what it's worth. You never know with these Kickstarters, because I've never never seen this book. It's actually a really cool cover. Let me know what you guys think. This is, you know, clearly a indie catered box. It said it was gonna be a little bit of everything, so um, you don't really know what to expect. Oh, actually in the back it says, Artist Edition, Frank, I believe, Uzan. Issued 158 out of 200, so it's a limited print, of course. And uh, I'll have to just check out this book. This is really interesting. Very cool. I like these uh, type of books. Definitely, some I'm a huge indie collector. So, all right. So I'm gonna have to do a little recap. All right, so I'm back. So I did some tallying on these books. Um, took them mainly off of eBay, unless I couldn't find them. So uh, let's run this up. So first book was uh, The Magic Order Trade Paperback. Uh, most recently selling for 10 bucks. So there you go. Um, the next one, so I did a little research. This was the Detective Comics 1000. This was actually the uh, Jim Lee Midnight release. This was going for about six bucks. All right, The Walking Dead number 108. And this was the uh, first appearance of Ezekiel and first cover appearance and Shiva, the tiger. Um, near Mint was selling for about 20 bucks. This is, I want to say, a VF Near Mint. There's some a little bit of a little corner there and some chipping around the spine. So I'll probably give that a $10 book. The Outer Darkness Virgin variant was going for cover price. So three bucks, three, four bucks. Along with the Infinite Dark, number one, signed by... Uh, Ryan Cady, that was going for about four bucks. Um, did some research on these prints. So these were um, prints by Liana Kangas, based off of the Vagrant Queen uh, Vault comic book, which I believe is optioned. And uh, this is the Color Yourself one. It's not selling for anything, but these are really cool prints in general. And then the last book, which was the Banger, 
I pronounced it wrong. It's broke and down four dead bodies. Number one, I believe this is signed by the writer, uh, Travis Gibb. I could not find this book on eBay whatsoever. Um, did some searching online and they actually had a website and this was the Kickstarter exclusive. Like I said, this was cover D, which was the artist sketch. And the artist sketch was selling on their website for 20 bucks. That's what it was listed for, but it was not signed. So put a few extra bucks there for the signature. I would say 25 bucks. Um, and it's limited to 200, so a very low print. Tally that up. I'd say we've got right around 55 bucks. I think that was a huge success. You know, made some profit on there based off of the box. The box was $40 plus $7, $8 shipping. 55 bucks guesstimating on a good day. So it was a win. Um, I want to thank Andrew, uh, Comic Book Campaign, for reaching out for me for doing the uh, for selling me the book, the package, and um, please check them out on uh, IG at Comic Book Campaign and at ComicBookCampaign.com. If you like what you saw, don't forget to um, like, hit that you know hit that thumb, hit the um, subscribe button if you haven't already, and if uh, let me know in the contents what you think about the uh, package. All right, guys, until next time. It's Mark's Spectre Comics. Out.